What's cooking? What's poppin'? My name is Pad Chennington, and today I want to show you one of, if not the best, record shop in New York City, and why this little hole in the wall shop might become your favorite spot to pick up some vinyl as well. So, New York City, we got everything here. Good food, great bars, beautiful bridges to walk on, and side streets to get lost in. Let me tell you, finding your next favorite hole in the wall spot is simply a breeze when there's so much attitude and personality on each and every block. As a vinyl record collector, New York City and the five boroughs are nothing short of legendary for finding record shops bursting with a wide variety of releases and a spectrum of diversity in regards to rarity, genres, equipment, apparel, and just everything you can ever want. Whether you are walking on a hot summer day in Greenwich Village, Manhattan, or just steady grooving in Harlem, you are bound to find your own musical goldmine. So today, we're going to be talking about my personal favorite shop in the entire city. Before I jump in and talk about the shop, please make sure you click the subscribe button and hit that little bell if it is your first time here. I talk about records, mostly vaporwave stuff most of the time, but we hit up records a lot, we hit them up a lot, so yeah. Subscribe and also hit that like button helps the channel out a ton. Anyway, let's get right into the video Let us take a trip to the beautiful Williamsburg, Brooklyn and step on into face records a super small yet jam-packed hole-in-the-wall record shop that specializes in used Japanese vinyl imports face records is a perfect spot to hang out with a friend or a date try out some music, and perhaps purchase a couple records. The second you walk into that store, it is almost impossible to not feel like a kid in a candy shop. The store is just flooded in colors and isn't usually too, too crowded, so you'll have the space to explore and get lost in the ocean of pressings they got waiting for you. You are able to test any record you are potentially interested in picking up, and like I said, the owners are super chill, feel absolutely free to ask them any questions you may have. I went in there once looking for a specific release that I could not find on the shelves, and one of the two owners searched for over a half an hour in the back to see if they had it, and voila, they did. A niche atmosphere surrounded by people who care for the craft of your not everyday vinyl pressing. Face Records originally started as a mail order store in Kanagawa, Japan in 1994, eventually opening up in Uga, oh god, I'm gonna screw this up, Udagawa Town, oh, that wasn't that bad, Udagawa Town in Shibuya in 1996. Now in America, the shop sells second-hand vinyl records, focusing mainly on releases from Japan, Europe, and America. Japanese city pop collectors in New York City rejoice as Face Records has an entire section dedicated to the city pop selection, something many of us have only been able to find on eBay, Discogs, and other online retailers that involve us going to some website in Japanese that we can't even translate. If you've only scratched the surface level, I'm talking like Toshiki Kanamatsu, Tatsuru Yamashita, and the extended version of Plastic Love, of course. Take a shot at picking up a random city pop record at Face Records and take it home. They have a ton of variety in there, and sometimes I think it's just best to go in completely blind, not know what you want, and pick something up that you just think looks cool. And take it home for a spin, because you'll be surprised on what you'll find. As a jazz fan too, who is always eager to discover more, I have been pleasantly surprised when I take a visit to the shop. They have a solid selection of imported jazz, really allowing my Japanese jazz taste buds to extend from only knowing and listening to scenery on repeat all the time. Another beautiful thing about the shop is that the prices are extremely extremely fair. You will usually find releases between 12 to 16 bucks, and hey, you don't gotta pay for that international shipping, so boom, huge plus right there. They do have their more rare and pricey releases, of course. You'll find some records in the hundreds, but like I said, sometimes it's just best to go in there without an agenda and just pick up something cheap and cool looking because trust me, you will surprise yourself in discovering a hidden groove, I can promise you that. They do also grade their records on condition, but for the most part, you will find almost everything there waiting for you in great condition. The owners clearly have a passion for record collecting, as well as passing on the love and joy for that hobby to the customers frequenting the shop. As a record collector myself and a full-time graphic designer when 
I'm not doing YouTube. I have always had this thing for Japanese import records. A lot of us do. They just look so pretty and typography wise, there is nothing like an intricate looking traditional Japanese obi strip to lay over your favorite album. That obi strip got me feeling some type of way. The visual presentation of a record has always been so important to me. There is this tangled and curious aura when you collect Japanese imports that I just can't avoid loving. As someone who can't speak or understand the Japanese language, the characters themselves become artwork instead of words or a language um, and just evolve my record collection into an even deeper pool of artwork and musical craft altogether. So check out their site if you are not located near the New York City area, I know a lot of you are probably not from New York or around there. They do have an eBay and a Discogs as well. Also, according to their website, they have a little message for those who are looking to travel to Tokyo for the Olympics in 2020. After half a century, the Olympics will be held in Tokyo again in 2020. If you are planning to visit Tokyo, please come to our store. It is located in Shibuya Udagawa Street and has been known as the Mecca of vinyl records in Tokyo. Do you have any record shops online or in store that you would recommend to anyone? Let me and everyone else know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. Keep on grooving. Much love, your boy, Pad Chennington.